I've just ridden the amazing Zadra here at Energylandia in Poland, one of Europe's finest roller coasters. But how much did it cost to spend two days here at Energylandia riding all of the 19 roller coasters, including park tickets, flights, accommodation, airport parking, car hire? Let's find out. Well, the trip is all booked. I'm going to be flying out on the 29th of April, returning on the 1st of May. Flight's a little bit more than I would have liked, but can't always be helped. So I will see you at the airport. So I've parked in the green car park here at Stansted. As usual, nice and close to the terminal. It's literally up there. Today, it's cost me £75.50 to park here for three days. Well, two days and a bit. Uh, which is a bit more than last time, which is frustrating, but yeah, airport parking, probably the most annoying part of travel, but it's kind of essential, unfortunately. It's been a fairly chaotic morning at Stansted today. There was a power outage, so I woke up to a message from Ryanair advising me to get here as early as I could, and then waited about an hour plus for security. So all fun, but I am, through all that now and ready to board my 1.35 flight to Krakow. It should take around two hours, 15 minutes, and my return flights today have cost £82.54, which is a bit more than I would have liked to pay. I left it a little bit late to get these flights booked, so my advice is always to try and book at least three weeks in advance if you can to get the best deals. So I think you could get this maybe 30, 40 quid cheaper if you planned in advance better than I did, but even still, not a terrible price to pay for a couple of days away. So for this trip to Energylandia, I'm staying at an apartment block called Zator Home, which is just a 10 minute walk from the theme park, literally just down the road from Western Camp Resort, if you know that, which is Energylandia's own little resort as well. So this is like a self-contained little studio flat. It's an apartment full of them, and uh, it's not that bad at all. So let's have a quick look around. So as you come in, you have a little kitchen area on the right hand side, the hob, microwave, sink kettle a bit of wi-fi information up there as well and on the left we've got the bathroom which is a uh, all quite nice as well nice decent sized shower in there heated towel rail all the usual sort of amenities and then we have a sort of living and sleeping space around here with a couple of twin beds wardrobe and pictures of horses on the wall and a little workspace and tv also two very nice big bright windows letting the light in Unfortunately, the views outside are of bricks, or brooks. And also there's a giant X in the sky, so I'm not sure if Mulder is trying to uh, get some attention. So two nights in one of these self-contained studio apartments here at Zator Home has cost me 130 pounds all in, which is uh, not too bad, I don't think. I think maybe there are some other deals out there. If I was prepared to go and stay in a TP at Western Camp Resort, I could have got that slightly cheaper, but I did one of the carriages a couple of years ago and it was bloody freezing in the evening and getting up to go to the toilet block and everything got a bit frustrating after a while. So for the sake of, I think, an extra 10 or 15 quid I pay for this, nice to actually have some quite nice digs. So this is my vehicle for the next couple of days. It's a Kia Exceed. It was actually upgraded from what I was supposed to get. Not too bad at all. Now, the reason I hired a car just to drive to a theme park and drive back to the airport again, which is all I'm really using it for, is that car hire in Poland is exceptionally cheap. And hiring this car from Monday to Wednesday has cost me far less than it would do in taxis. In fact, to acquire this vehicle for two and a bit days has cost me less than 28 pounds. Now conversely, if you did wish to get a taxi or an Uber from the airport, I did do a quick check while I was there just to see what the prices were coming up at. And it was kind of around 160 zloty, which is around 30, 32 pounds. So you're looking at that each way, um, if you were to avoid driving yourself, which I understand it's not always the most comfortable thing to do to drive in a foreign country, but no, it was all fairly straightforward. Um, this was booked through a company called WeGo via booking.com. And um, yeah, 28 quid for a car. Can't go wrong with that. I've just taken the complimentary land train from Western Camp Resort. It was only about 100 yards up the road from my hotel, so saved a bit of walking this morning. And I'm now here at Energylandia. It's just about 10 past 10, ready for two days of mad coaster action. 
Energylandia is located in Zator, around 29 miles west of Krakow, and despite its scale, is still a relatively young theme park, opening its doors in July 2014. However, with the help of some EU funding, the park has grown at a rapid pace in the last decade and is now a proud home to some of Europe's most impressive roller coasters, such as Zadra, a 206 foot tall hybrid coaster, and Hyperion, the huge hyper coaster that greets you at the front of the park. In fact, if roller coasters are your thing, then Energylandia boasts 19 of them, alongside a number of other attractions for all the family, ranging from water rides to thrill rides to the classics. They also have a water park on site which is included in your entry ticket. Speaking of which, a two day ticket to Energylandia cost me £63.26p. If you'd like to learn more about Energylandia, then the vlog from my two day visit is here on the channel. And if you enjoyed these budget travel guides, then hit the like button so I know to make some more of them. So I've just completed my two days here at Energylandia where I've ridden some amazing roller coasters. Now it's time to jump on the land train, get back to my hotel and then drive to the airport for the flight home. So just to the left of the entrance is where you'll find the land train pickups. The green one just exiting now that goes to Zator train station and then you have a sort of goldy brown colour train which is the one that goes to Westin Camp Resort. And just like that, I'm back at Krakow Airport for my 7.40 flight back to Stancy, which should get me back into the UK at around five past nine. Time to go home. So I've returned back from Poland now, and that entire trip cost me £379.15. Probably are a few opportunities to save a bit of money there. I think um, flights booked earlier certainly would have saved 30 or 40 quid. And depending on time of year, hotel prices change as well. So if Energylandia is a park you're interested in, I would certainly consider looking at September, early October. You can get some really good deals during those times. But thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see a budget travel guide on Porta Ventura in Spain, which I actually managed to do for less than the cost of Alton Towers then you can watch that video up on the screen now. Cheers, catch you next time.